Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Video True, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds, where last time we went on an adventure to the far side of the system to secure some medical robots to save this place's independence and make sure the corporations could not seize the groundbreaker. But today, we need to kick off doing something far more important, which is taking Parvati for a drink and sorting out her love life. Here we go, the Lost Hope, the ship I actually came from, in fact. So apparently, this is a bar. Me and Parvati need to actually, you know, figure out what's going on. And also, I need to stop getting the A and X buttons the wrong way around, because that does happen a lot. Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? Parvati, we're just going to sit down. It's going to be great. Don't worry. Though, obviously, first we will be robbing the place, or at least checking, you know, what there is to rob, just so I know what my options are. Here we go, one sealed door. Just quickly crack that open. Might help ourselves to a few bits and pieces, we'll see. Okay, a few bits, bit of food, nothing too dramatic. But ladder, which is arguably more interesting, because that suggests, aha, okay, whatever this area is, it's sealed from all. There's also red things going on here. There's the bar right there. Okay, where on earth am I? Ah, manta pillars. Right, guys. No trouble with the manta pillars just yet. We'll just open up the door. See where on earth I've just ended up. Where on earth am I right now? Hang the flip on. Okay. I'm in some sort of upstairs back area. Let's take out the manta pillars first, alright? So everybody just get out your favourite weapon that's got like, you know, a plasma effect on it. This one should do the job. So just charge up and... Okay, that definitely killed them. I thought that was my kill cam there, but no, no, we're good. Arguably, in fact, that may have been slightly overkill. In fact, I really hope this person was already dead. And Private Taylor, somewhere nearby, is yelling, don't leave me here, something, something, something. Right, I may have just stumbled across something good. If you can hear me, please, the toilet's overflowed on me twice already. Okay, where on earth have I accidentally got myself here? Crack this open and... Okay. Hello. Aha! Hello there! You have no idea how good the air on Groundbreaker smells until you've been trapped in a tiny bathroom with an overflowing toilet. Thanks again, friend. Okay, I've just, um, rescued a man from a toilet. This is not where I was expecting things to go today, but, um, yeah. Were you hiding from the manta pillars? What usually happens on this partially pressurized rust bucket? Something broke. Well, actually, two things broke. First, the damn toilet overflowed. When I came to clean that up, the damn door decided to close and lock on me. No, this is literally just man trapped in toilet, so I am the greatest damn hero who ever lived. Well, I get a bit of groundbreaker reputation, so that's nice at least. Yep, one bathroom, job done. And yeah, there's a couple of holes here that bring me out to uh, this area, up top from where I was. So, uh, does this get me anything, or am I just allowed to... Did one of you just fall off? Parvati, are you okay? I think she just teleported back to me. It's fine. Okay, so this is just a way to, uh, I don't know, sneak around the outside of this area or something. I've no clue. Aha, but go to the end of the corridor. There's another one of these little pipes here, but this lets me over to, uh, yeah, the bit in the centre. Okay, is this just some free loot up here? It's not marked as stealing, so I guess I'll be having all of this, sure. And reactive kinematic shield projector. Okay, health drops too low, temporarily invulnerable. Now that's actually pretty darn useful, yes. Sadly, there are invisible walls after that, so I can't go any further along here. Right, guys, nice and careful, back to the bar. And if I just come down the ladder at the far side, that brings me over to... Aha! Waste! Yeah, we found waste. That's just a sprat. That's all absolutely fine. So yeah, if I recall my map correctly, this should be... Uh, yeah, here we go. Waste disposal. So a couple of locked doors uh, that let you into the back area over here. Hang on, just make sure we've got no flipping uh, witnesses. Another door over here. Crack that open. And we got ourselves... Okay, more sneaking to be done here. Oh! Okay, you guys can just go down. I thought you were already dead, but okay, it turns out you weren't. Oh, once in the head, please. Anybody else? Yes, there is. And down you go. Right, 
good. Yep, Feral Sprat's taken care of. Oh, now I wish I had Felix with me because, uh, in theory, could you drop kick a really, really tiny enemy? Because it would be kind of hilarious to make him do a drop kick against the world's tidiest rats. So nothing much in there, but more little tunnels here leading me into uh, somewhere. All right, we got more doors we'll open in a second. Uh, heavy machine gun, got all of that. I'll take myself some heavy ammo, though. Why not? Hey, how'd you get back there? Oh, um, sorry about that. Yes, I was just exploring the, um, yeah, air vents, and I may have just stolen all of your stuff. This will be Bell's shells, then, the shop in the middle. Okay, I've now explored this side of the street just in a slightly unorthodox way. Have you got anything good, by the way? I see, she's the weapon shop, but also sells a good number of modifications. So, uh, Super Scope 2000. Massive zoom. Well, at some point, I will need to buy myself a new weapon. For the simple reason that, yeah, my existing sniper weapon is just getting... Uh, it's too expensive, because it started off at a low level, and it's getting exponentially more expensive to level it up. So, uh, sooner or later, that's going to be replaced. So, go on, I'll buy the scope right now, because she's giving me a discount already. She also sells a handful of guns, but honestly, nothing much beyond what I've already got, so I'll probably be happy leaving them be. Yeah, right there, the hunting rifle is only level 8, and it's already getting very expensive to tinker with, so uh, that thing really needs to be retired. Also, that did just remind me, thank you to the comments who pointed out, yes, I don't actually want to be seeing base item stats, I want to be seeing adjusted item stats, so I'm getting a proper picture of how much damage my guns are actually doing, which I have now set. That's the thing you need to change in the settings. All right, Parvati, let's me and you have a drink and discuss these problems you've been having. Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Oh, Parvati, you're an absolute flipping star. So yes, if you've not done much drinking, let's start off with something uh, pretty mild and low on the alcohol percentage. So uh, let's just start off with a nice beer. But before we begin, are you sure you want to do this, Parvati? Because yeah, you do seem nervous. Oh, no, that's just, that's on account of my not being able to sleep lately. Makes my hands all twitchy, you know. I've just been lying awake thinking about what June Lay said and feeling my heart shake. Alright, so yeah, let's start off with something nice and low alcohol and nice beer. Oh, beer. I guess, yeah, I can do that. Beer can be good. I bet. Bottoms up. Think of it like a fizzy tea that's gone a little off. Ah, this tastes like the underside of a boot. People drink that for fun? Oh, Captain. I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? They really did model the way she speaks on Kaylee from Firefly, didn't they? It really, really is such a strong resemblance. So, yeah, what are we gonna do here? What is she doing? So, uh, we're going on a big adventure. We're doing something fun, Parvati. You're funny. <sighs> yeah, I guess we're doing that, aren't we? Crewing together, seeing the stars. It's like something out of a cereal. I like the ones with grand romances. And I think... I think I'm flubbing mine. I don't know what to do about... us. Okay, I think we just need to tell her to just, you know, chill out, relax a bit, have some fun. Because she really seems to be overthinking this when her and Junlei haven't actually been on, like, you know, a date yet. They've just been emailing backwards and forwards. So, uh, yeah. Let's just talk about why you're so unsettled for the minute. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. She's definitely interested, but people do generally come with history, Parvati. I'm sorry to say, you come from a relatively emotionally sheltered, innocent place. And yeah, not everyone's gonna be that way. So, yeah... Okay, yet yeah, no one says vaguely sensual poetry to people they don't like. Exactly. Takes a lot of trust to hand over that kind of blackmail material. Uh, I, I don't know, I'd call it, uh, sensual. That's a lot. 
It did specifically talk about you laying your hands on her. So yeah, calming her with a touch. That's very much romantic, absolutely. It did. Oh dear, I hadn't really... Oh my goodness. And I told you? Let's read it right now, just to be sure. I'm not sure whether I should actually admit that, you know, it was on my terminal so I was able to read the whole thing already. I really hope I was supposed to. Right, I think possibly you're... No. I'm not sure whether I'm saying you're overthinking this as in just relax and have fun or you're overthinking it as in she's not into you. She definitely is into you. So yeah, just tell us your version of what you think's in the message or just make sure you're not misinterpreting anything. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think Junlei still has feelings for her? Well, okay. I'm not gonna say no. Sometimes people have relationships, and uh, the people they used to have relationships with, that still matters to them. It's a part of them. It's important going forward. You don't just forget somebody when you move on to the next person. That's not bad and it's not unhealthy, that's just how humans work. So, Parvati, with my perception stat, can I get you to tell me what you're really thinking about here? What are you worried about? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Okay, so let's get you some nice water, Parvati. Come on, Captain! I'm here to drink! Okay, maybe you're right, I am a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Aw, this was just about to get fun. Shush you. Oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but I'm so scared. Okay, what are we going to do here? Is there like some root problem we haven't actually got to yet or is it just because uh, you're not used to relationships people etc etc um everything i got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head does she think i'm as pretty as i think she's handsome what if she doesn't like me what if she does what if she's still got feelings for that lady isabel what if we we get together and she gets bored of me then it would be really, really fun while it lasted. Not everything lasts forever, Parvati, but that doesn't mean you don't do it. Now, okay, what are we going to do here? Here we go. I suspect the easy way is, yeah, you two just need to give it a go and figure it out as you go, which is how, you know, people generally work. Oh, there's nothing easy about, about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? Then you've got good memories and it was good while it lasted, Parvati. That's all we've got. So, uh, what are we going to do here? So, yeah, you're afraid of being rejected, afraid of disappointing her. What's the right thing to say to Parvati right now? I just want Parvati to be happy, damn it! Okay, we're going to be honest here. You can't control how people react to you. You just have to go with it, hope, have fun while it lasts. What do you mean, Captain? And the only thing you can control is you. Uh, trying to manage other people's feelings would drive you crazy. It sounded more profound in my head. Uh, it's true. The only thing you can control is yourself, Parvati. You can't necessarily control everything. So if I'm doing my very best to be kind and open-hearted... I shouldn't worry how she thinks of me? Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts. Alright, so... I think everybody does at some point, Parvati. It's just generally we don't say it out loud. Well, I suppose so, but... I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person. Worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Would it make you feel better if we went off to Roseway right now, 
and just shot some things in the face. Where the problem is, there's monsters and the solution is bullets. Because I think that would make both of us feel better right now. Also, are you planning to ask her out? No, I'm not going to ask that actually. That's putting her on the spot. She'll come to me in her own time when she's ready. For the time being, we're just going to say we're happy to do this at any time she needs us to. Do you think I should ask her on a, a date? There we go. Now she's chosen to come to me with it. That's fine. So, uh, determination 15. Don't ask for my opinion, believe in yourself. Or persuade 15. You're still unsure? Yes, just ask her. No, believe in yourself. I'm not persuading her. I'm giving her the self-confidence to do it herself. Okay. I I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. This was fun. We should do it again after you send that message. Huh. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. Yeah, let's just go shoot some things in the face. We'll all feel better after we've shot some things in the face. Ah, uh, yes, before we go, I did see in the quest log, if I need money, then there's a bounty board right here in the dock. But unfortunately, yeah, Phineas. We're not turning him in just yet, and uh, not much we didn't know about there, to be honest. All a bit vague for the time being. Do we have anything else over here? Ah, McCred. Interesting. So Junlei wanted him to be, yeah, alive, but there is actually a bounty out here. And Sunita, if I know about the whereabouts. Well, I mean, everyone knows where he is, right? Like, Junlei knows where he is. He's just downstairs in the one room that's downstairs. And speaking of Sunita, yeah, can you give me any more information about Phineas? To the board, yeah. You've read his wanted poster. Whole list of things to get their unders in a wad. But he's never done nothing to Groundbreaker, so I've no problem with him. We keep the poster up to keep the peace is all. Alright, nothing major. Now, how much if I were to go and kill McCret? Last tip we got pointed toward the back bays. You want the reward? Do the legwork. You know what? I have been meaning to go and actually check in with McCred anyway, because, um... As someone pointed out to me, the dead engineer on the ground in the back bays uh, wasn't actually Junlei's engineer. That was an unrelated engineer. Apparently there's like a different engineer who is still alive down there. So I should really go get that person out. Here we go. Just back down to the back bays and then down here close by to whatever PT is. And apparently uh, there was someone uh, who was an engineer in here. There we go. Hello there, engineer person. You're the first person I've seen who talked their way past McRed. It may not sound like much, but take my word for it. Wow. Alright, so uh, I'm guessing you don't want to be here. Maybe just make your way back to engineering if you're officially with me. I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. Okay, that was nice and easy. So, I don't necessarily want to kill all of these individuals, but I can't help but notice that, uh, yeah, McRed himself... Stands right at the front, next to the elevator. So we could just kill him, loot the corpse, and then make a run for it before the fire starts coming in. That's entirely workable, really. So, uh, yeah. Let's see if we can make that fly. Give him a bit of a scan. So, yeah, he's got just under a thousand hit points. Barely any armor. No problem whatsoever. So, get myself nice and hidden. And uh, let's give it a go. And he goes into a little bit of trouble and there we go and reload 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 right guys get him down get him down get him down and ow 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 grab 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 right guys time to go 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 right goodbye thank you okay so private taylor who i released from the toilet is back here but i do not see the other everyone else appears to be yeah that's edna over there Everyone else is... Uh, hang on, it was you, wasn't it? You were wearing that hat. It might have been this person, but I swear this person had a name. Also, would anyone object if I just broke into Junlei's room nice and quickly? There we go. 
just help ourselves to... Uh, maybe we shouldn't actually steal from Jun Lei. Just in case there's any interesting lore back here. That's all I'm after. Just the interesting lore. Nope, nothing as far as I can tell. We are not robbing Jun Lei, therefore. Okay, one building left I haven't visited yet, and that is, yeah, Sublight. May as well go and visit you, because I'm guessing you might have a quest for me. Here we go. Elevator at the rear leads to an upstairs office, and uh, any chance I'm allowed to go in to buy us? Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. You the one flying the unreliable? Yes, indeed. I am. Hello there. I'm John. Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Hey, Doc Fenhill. Glad to see you ain't moved on from Groundbreaker yet. Hey, Tobias. How's the leg? Good as you left it, ma'am. Still bends and everything. Oh, I do like how everybody knows Ellie because she's been a doctor around here in the past. That's lovely. Oh, you have got yourself a lovely big fancy office here, including... Oh, that's a nice balcony. That's a lovely balcony right there. Beautiful view of whatever the hell this thing is. All right, Miss Hagen, what have you got for me? Because I'm guessing you've got something. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Indeed I do, and I'm guessing... Wait, have I done anything to annoy these guys? I don't think I've done anything to annoy you, like, all the people I've ever shot were not yours. And the corpses I came across on Scylla were already dead. Not my problem. It's nice to see the Unreliable again. A useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. Aha. Uh -huh. Any chance I might be able to inherit any contracts you had on the go? Also, just in case this is a problem, I didn't actually kill him. Let's just specify that up front. I didn't ask. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But there's a catch. Wouldn't be much fun without one. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? Aha. Uh -huh. I don't actually have the nav key, so... Uh, could I have the job anyway? Because I'll be getting one sooner or later. I like that initiative, but ease back on the throttle. Gladys at the rest and go might have what you need. If there's anything else, be quick about it. Time is bits. All right, interesting. So, until I've got the key, she won't tell me anything else, I'm guessing. These days, the scrap business all but runs itself. Gives me the time to expand our interests into other sectors, where I can let my hair down. Okay, that sounds like space crime. I like space crime. Our field is persuasive acquisitions. At least, that's how my legal advisors tell me to phrase it. Not all of our salvage is abandoned when we find it. Sometimes it takes a polite conversation and a shot across the bow. You know, legal formalities. That sounds a lot more like piracy than salvage, but you know what? I'm not going to say that to your face. I have this thing about numbers in spreadsheets, grids in general. I like to think of myself as the last honest businesswoman in Halcyon but I'll settle for being the most organized one. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, Parvati. This woman just specified she's got a thing for Excel, so I may have just found a new best friend. Okay, grab my bounty on the way out, because whatever it was you wanted, I cleaned out his corpse. Here's the bounty payout. Nice work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. All right, good amount of XP, bit of money, like it. And level 13 as well. Beautiful. Okay, so what do we need to do now? Ranged, of course, yeah. Now it's at 50. If I want to boost it, I need to individually invest. But would I rather get, yeah, dialogue moving in the right direction first or stealth? Keep that moving up. No, I can't keep that moving up. At this point, yeah, sneak needs to be individually invested in. So, okay. Could boost tech, but I do get a boost off, yeah, plenty of tech skills off companions, so maybe not so important. Leadership might not be the worst thing in the world, just because, yeah, companions being stronger and healthier 
Not terrible. I like companions. Companions are goats. But for the time being, yeah, let's just get dialogue up a little bit, just so we've got that available as an option. So I do theoretically have the money to actually buy the Stella Bay thing right now, except, yeah, there is one thing, of course, which is uh, you don't technically have to buy it at all. That would just get me landing rights right in the middle of town on Monarch. There's nothing to stop you just landing on Cascadia and going on foot. Now, the game does flag warning dangerous don't do this, you mad lunatic, but I can't help but be a bit curious just how deadly dangerous I'm going to die it is. So, uh, let's just, you know, go and say hello. Message from Dr. Wells. He'd like to congratulate you on finding a route to Monarch. I'm gonna guess he's gonna be less thrilled when he realises what route I'm taking. Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive creatures more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia, and I'm reasonably certain I tested your brain for incipient signs of insanity. Trust me, talk to Gladys Kelly. Look, we're going to have a look at Quarry Junction and you can't stop me. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the Information Broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Alright, so, find my way through 10 million creatures that are probably going to be death claws, and then make my way to Hiram Blythe. Gotcha. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Neoka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Alright, I'm guessing that's the final companion right there. Captain, an unusual wavelength is coming through Monarch's Aetherwave frequencies. The Eternal is in us all. The OSI would have you believe that your place in society, indeed in the universe, is preordained. A man who works in the mines of Hephaestus, coating his lungs in mercury dust for naught but a few bits a night. This fate is set in stone? When he dies young, coughing up black blood, his part in the grand plan? No, I say. Greatness is in everyone. Not just those so fortunate as to have been born into prosperity. That was unexpected and odd. Not really. That was a philosophist, I'm guessing. So, uh, yeah, basically their terrifying controversial opinion is free will exists. So, yeah, actually, pretty much common sense stuff. Let's bag those guys. And apparently Parvati's got one more thing to say to me yet. Hello, Parvati, I love you. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. Oh, bless you, Parvati. Now, have you invited her out on a date yet? I messaged June Lei when we got back, and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night, thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning, and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. Okay, this is seeming all right so far. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. Oh, isn't she sweet? Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal and... I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. But anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. Alright, so this seems good right here and apparently that's worth 20,000 XP. Wow, that's pretty good. By the way, you might want to send her a goodbye message because we're going out onto the Doom Planet. Actually, that's a good point. If we're going onto the Doom Planet, Parvati, you stay on the ship. We'll take Felix and Ellie. Okay, so, welcome to Monarch and uh, straight away, uh, 
Yeah, there's a lot of angry red stuff going on. How about we go straight over to the Plasma Doom weapon? And uh, how big is this place, by the way? I'm guessing... Oh, blimey. Okay, I'm guessing that's where you're supposed to be. And this is where we are right now. I see. You can't fast travel while near hostiles. Oh, yeah, I'm guessing we need to go on a very... Uh, very long journey along this massive road uh, to get to where I'm supposed to be. And well, actually, there is there is another road going pretty much straight up north. So uh, if I stay up here on the landing pads, how bad is that over there, by the way? And okay, let's go over to an actual weapon we can, uh, you know, aim here. So just, you know, give me an idea what I'm looking at. 1,396 health, level 15. Yeah, but that was one of the baby ones, wasn't it? Uh, give me some information here. Level 18, 5,000 health. I'm gonna be honest, that's... It's less good. It's much less good. Okay. Uh, what else do we have over here? Or is it just... I think it's just an abandoned town full of, like, lizards and stuff. Okay. Might be able to break into some of this. Might be able to sneak around the outside of town, actually. If I could just, yeah, sneak out of town, but I can't actually, yeah, fast travel back to the ship. I'm going to drop a save here, and then we're going to see if we can make anything happen. And to confirm, yeah, my destination is about a kilometre in that direction, which is not good. There's something in there, but it doesn't seem too bad. Okay. Let's just go over to Mega Cannon. And now just basically start firing. Okay. And just a little bit more. The angle needs to be right here. Don't know where I am yet. Bit more yet. Don't hit the sign. Ooh, that'll flip and do the job. And boom. Oh, yeah. 2,000 to go. Um, Is there a ramp by any chance? Because if so, this could be a problem. Oh, yeah. That's good. And there we go. Has it made its way? Oh, it's made its way up the stairs. Okay, that's fine, because we'll just keep nailing it with the plasma caster. Where's Felix, by the way? Do we know where Felix is? Do we know where the rest of them are? There's Oh, there's a few of them. Felix, I'm, I wouldn't recommend what you're doing right now. I may have just temporarily nuked Phoenix. Phoenix? No, Felix is okay. Okay, that's that's gone better than I was expecting, to be honest. That's... It's not a bad starting point. I mean, to be honest, we're mainly being carried by this ludicrous mega gun, but it's working. And if nothing else, we're making a ton of flippin' XP just by killing these guys. And I'm guessing their brains or meat or whatever is going to be worth a good amount of money. All right. Nothing else. We got ourselves salvage here. All right. This is working. Yeah, just loop around the back over here. Make sure we don't run into too much trouble too fast. We got ourselves a half. We got ourselves actual buildings with interiors around here. Alright. Just start opening things up. Helping myself to whatever. Good little police helmet. And law. So, okay. Project Terro. Ah, the terror rays. So the corpses are attracting local wildlife. And, uh, ah, Cascadia bottling plant. There were smells coming from a factory. And it brought in all the big beasties. Also, mention of, yeah, waste pipes. That might be a way inside the factory. And we're also getting ourselves... Hang on, there was a bunch of good stuff in there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This is some very interesting stuff, like, hang on, right over there. Oh, Vented Mark III. That's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. In fact, we're going to put that on right now because, yeah, we're in the hostile planet. So, uh, this is not bad. And, oh... Cost of bribes minus 10%. That's a fun modifier. Also just saw there, Revolver Mark II. So that's 116 at level 17. So that'll be cheap to tinker with. That is, uh, yeah, broadly just a tiny bit weaker than the upgraded Irian's Flintlock. That's DPS 388. And that is, uh, yeah, that's actually 289. So it's a bit worse, but it's cheap to tinker with because its base level is higher. Just because they get exponentially more expensive. And that Deadeye Assault Rifle might be the same. The actual damage is already only a tiny bit lower than the Hunting Rifle. So, uh, yeah. We might be able to pick up some good stuff here and... 
How long have I had this? I don't know, but apparently it's a flamethrower. So that's fun. Terrifyingly weak flamethrower, but you know, still. All right. Keep your eyes open. There's more bad stuff here yet. I definitely saw some red on there. Yep, I see ya. I see you over there. How many of them? Is it just two? Because if so, we should be A-OK. -okay. Oh, there's, there's more over here too. But I think they're the other side of this. I think actually we're going to be okay. So just put that about there. And more. And more. And there we go. That's looking good. And would somebody like to fire at that thing, please? Yeah, just freeze time and drop kick it. There we go. Thank you for drop kicking that monster. And dead. Anything else? Okay, we're just going to keep using this thing for the time being. It is doing a good job cleaning up house for the minute. And yeah, just grab all of this. Grab all of this. They will fight each other on occasion. What else have we got? That's police station. What else was around the corner? I swear we saw something. But it might have just been something small or it might have been trapped inside. All right, guys. In we go. Be careful. I think we want to go in if I can find... Oh, hang on. I definitely want to go in. Aha! Chimneys uh, suggest factories. Factories uh, means uh, waste pipes. We know we're looking for some waste pipes. And that probably means uh, there was a river going down this whole area. Go down to the river, find the waste pipes, get in that way. And more red, but I think it's actually inside here. So down on the ground and be ready to... I'm guessing this is just like sprats or something, right? That's... Aha! I see something in... Oh, never mind. I just want to get it through the door. There we go. I've taken out a swarm of bugs. Like, somehow. Oh, hello. What the cock are you? Is that just a... That's just a mantipilla. And I may have slightly set some of you on fire. You know what? I think we got this. This is on hard, by the way. But I feel like we are in control. Regardless. So this is all going well so far. And yep, this is all freebies. Right here. Hello, right, control armor gold. Hopefully that's a high base level because, yeah, we do need high base level stuff to replace our old stuff sooner or later. I'll be taking all of this too. Okay, so this was actually Rizzo Town. This is the company we're dealing with right now. Or rather, maybe it was Spacer's Choice. But the product is Rizzo. That's what they're making at the bottling plant. So, yeah, they were planning to evacuate, but Terros are expensive. Shipping them out here isn't going to be easy. So... I'm guessing they introduced the Terros as, I don't know, maybe pest control or something. Then they chose to evacuate and they wanted to take the Terros with them. But as we saw before, the Terros are also attracting the big beasts. And then when evacuation day came, a single shuttle arrived, the Raptodons broke in, they were drawn to the Terros, the staff were holding the Terros, so as a result of that, yeah, the staff got themselves a bit eaten. The senior staff abandoned everybody. Right, so they were intentionally left to die. Got it. I've been trying to help corporate. None of my messages are getting through. I don't think help's coming. Yeah, there wasn't enough room for us and the birds. Someone up there made a decision. It wasn't for our well-being. Rotten bastards. If I make it out of this, I'm coming for them. You see, people, this is why I didn't decide to reunite the town of Edgewater and actually just get the town set up with Adelaide in charge. Because the corporations in this universe repeatedly and consistently leave their people to die or actively murder them for insurance money or variations thereupon. The town being reunited with Adelaide in charge makes no flipping sense if we're pretty confident the company's going to murder them next week anyway. Alright, keep on keeping on here. Just have a look around town, try and find some open buildings and uh, we've also got, yeah, the odd person. Corpses, those that were left abandoned here. By corporate and uh, that's just inside the factory again isn't it i hope that's just inside the factory again otherwise i might be about to run into some trouble but i think at this point there's nothing left outside good small problem though the doors are actually sealed so aha we need to make our way up and around using the buildings gotcha in fact, yeah, that's going to be the only way to get down to the river, which I need to get down to because, yeah, there's a wall right here all the way along. Then there's just a path going uh, way north and uh, some of those terraforming devices. That might be a terraforming device. If I want to make it over the river, 
which I'm guessing I have to, then it looks like actually this might be the easiest way to do it. When I say the easiest way, it's not going to be that easy, but let's try and get on top of the get on top of the thing without falling off, please. There we go and go and not quite though my legs are broken. Right, maybe I need to start off higher. Then again, from the landing pad, I might be able to make it straight over to here. Oh, that's going to be... Uh, that's a hell of a jump, mind. That feels like that's not going to fly. Right, I must be missing something. There must be an easier option than just flinging yourself off the edge here. Oh, I've just discovered something interesting there. We're also dealing with some invisible walls. So uh, that's definitely not the intended solution. The game's invisible walled up in that part of the world. Here we go. I can clamber on these crates to get up onto a bit of a roof over here. Question is, can I make it over to that balcony? Where's the right way to go? And well done for teleporting to me, by the way. Good work. This one looks doable, actually. Just through here. There we go. That gets me to here, but this door is sealed. There must be a way to make this... Guys, guys, you're screwing me over here. Okay, many slightly broken legs later. I'm not seeing a way to get on top of that wall from here. So what I'm going to do instead is take the obvious path that's open to me, which is, uh, yeah, heading north out of town uh, along this here road. Because uh, presumably there's going to be a way to loop around and cross the river. But we do have, uh, yeah, issues. Manti Queens. And when I say issues, 2,900. It's not even that much in the grand scheme of things, really. Not when I have got this giant doom cannon on me. So, guys, get flipping ready. We're just going to get a bit closer and then about there, give or take. And no, maybe not. How about that? Still no. Tiny bit further up. How about that? That seemed to be sooner or later. Uh-oh. Guys, guys, they've got flipping mortars built in. So, uh, start using all your abilities. You may as well just start weakening one of them. Yeah, drop kick a Manta Queen. That's going to fly. And boom. There we go. Now we're doing a thousand hit. Just put it in the middle of them. If we can hit both, that'd be great. And dead. And start getting on the next. Reload, reload, reload. She's not dead. Uh-oh. Oh, I think I might be the only one left at this point. That's going to be a problem. But that's absolutely fine because now I can just pause time. And just basically start firing at them. And charge it. Boom. And dead. Dead. Nice. Okay, we're just surviving here. Admittedly, I'm on fire. So, okay, I've injected some tuna directly into my mouth, so I'm no longer on fire. So this is, yeah, pricey on the ammo front. But ammo in this game is extremely bloody... Ooh. There was stealth grass here. Right, maybe next time we just, like, sneak past those guys. I don't know. And now, can I loop round to the river? The river seems like a good thing. No, that's... That there is the sort of thing you don't want to throw yourself down onto, I'm guessing. We need to find a way over at some point. Or maybe we're just supposed to be going this way. Okay, keep it... Oh, hello. Mantisaur soldier. Whatever that is, it's going to be dead momentarily. Oh, hello there, giant piles of heavy ammunition and energy cells. That is just what I flipping need. So yeah, just keep on keeping on up the road here. Check the map here. How are we doing in terms of... Uh, right, we're about halfway up to uh, a bend in the road that leads to uh, something. We just don't know precisely what. That doesn't look too terrifying. I really shouldn't be going over to this gun. We know this gun's complete flipping garbage, but screw it. 400 ain't bad. That's just a spitter. That's not an issue at all. Uh, right, now, now we go over to something a bit on the better side. And now I just provide uh, cover. Screw you. And, oh dear, whatever that is, uh, start shooting it, please, because it seems bad. Yeah, drop kick it in the face. That's going to work. And boom. There we go, 2,000. Whatever you are, you can just go down in like one hit. And boom. That is a mega raptor on. So we're just going to shoot that in the face some more. It's got 4,000 more health. But that's absolutely fine. Slow-mo time. We should be A-OK. -okay. Boom. Boom. 
And it's already almost dead. I'm gonna say it's already almost dead. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Screw you! I think I might have just friendly fired myself. Okay, many attempts later, we managed to take that thing down, but I feel like, yeah, we're not quite in a position to. Ooh! Hunting rifle ultra, you say? Level 17, you say? Well, you know what? This is now worth it. This is now 100% worth it right here. By the way, guys, have a bit of benefit off the healing. Where are you guys, by the way? Oh, you just teleported behind me. That's absolutely fine. We've now got ourselves a, a special hunting rifle, and that's precisely what I needed to replace anyway. I've no idea where I'm going, by the way. I feel like I'm not actually going towards my destination, but... Okay, this is good. I've got a hunting rifle. Okay, we got ourselves a sign here. Which is of interest. So, Monarch. What have we got here? So, Cascadia, turn back on yourself. Fallbrook, go straight ahead. Amber Heights, go straight ahead. Stella Bay, go straight ahead. Fine. Various towns, but no guarantee any of them are still really operating. So, yeah, I know I've just kind of gone around the corner over here. There's something up there that is... I don't know, maybe a big generator. I'm not sure whether we could even get over to that, but... What have we got there? That looks like, yeah, not so bad, really. Go back over to this old guy. I'll tell you what, this is now your retirement party. And we'll just start taking you bastards down. And 300 a go. That feels very, very modest, to be honest. But, you know, we'll, we'll do what we can. And we'll just finish off these bastards as well. Raptor, uh-oh! Guys, 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 he's coming for me, which is definitely bad. And boom, and boom, and screw you. Right, enemy's dead, and you're down on the ground. You've been exploded. Okay, I'm burning through heavy ammo, but screw it, it's doing the job. And I've discovered the sulfur pits. Marvellous, that's just where you want to be. Okay, the problem is, I'm seeing... Yeah, more Mega Raptodons around here, and uh, they're trouble. They're definitely trouble. There's another one. Now, there's clearly something at the far side of this area. There's uh, something over here, just a handful of houses. But also, if I'm reading the map correctly, if I, yeah, I need to basically sneak around over here, then I've almost made it. If I just sneak around the edge of this area, take a right, then... Uh, for whatever reason, yeah, there's a whole nother bit over here that you can't get to yet. But, I'll have made it to uh, the area I'm trying to get to. Then, presumably, once you've made it to a landing pad, you've got the right to, you know, land there. I mean, I guess. So, uh, okay. Now I've decided I'm... Uh-oh, guys, guys, guys. Oh, no, no, that's fine. That's, that's just a spitter. That's not a problem at all. So, we can, we can finish him off. That's... There's more coming in too, which is a bit of a concern. I'm being spat at. There's more over there. Please finish that guy off before his dad shows up. Okay, no Mega One shown up just yet. Stay over here, right on the edge of the arena. Now, we're going to have uh, some trouble. That's absolutely fine. Hello over there. Right, you're a spitter. You're going to be dead. You are a... Uh... Oh, that's a mauler. Oh, that's... That's never a good sign. Right, guys. Uh, just keep it busy for one second. And then I'm going to bring in the plasma. We're bringing in the heavy stuff momentarily. And I need some... I need some healing. Uh, guys, use your special abilities while you still can. And did I just die? No. For some reason, it just didn't zoom in very quickly. Marvellous. And she's still around somewhere. <laughs> I think I'm suffering from some acid. Or possibly I've got a broken... I've got a broken something... And boom, dead. Right, the mega ones don't seem to be over here. You're still fighting something, by the way. What are you still fighting? I don't know, but Ellie's down on the ground. And Felix is... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Guys, I think it might be time for us to just grab what we can grab. And then, like, start running. Actu oh, blimey, yep. Yeah. Time to start running, time to start running, time to start running. I'm just going to get some healing going on. We're just going to run straight through this area. And then we're just going to basically GTFO. 
And whatever that is over there, that's just whatever that is over there. We're just going to make a run for Monica Stella Bay. Or what, what even was that? There was a giant rock thing over there. Right, companions. Um, I'm sure you'll catch up. Oh, that's a mega mantisaur or whatever. Um, wait, have I just run into a... I think I might have just run into a... A, a corner. Yeah, that, that feels like that that's a corner to me, actually. This feels like that's a... Oh, yeah, that's a corner. Ow, I'm being stabbed by a thing. This was, this was... I've got a broken everything right now. I'm pretty sure my everything is broken. Okay, now I can start sprinting again. This is not where I was planning to go. I need to turn to my left and start running in that direction. Up this, up this hill. This was the direction I wanted to go in. Up this hill, past yet more creatures. Okay, everything's fine. If I just keep doing the drugs, then that's going to be A-OK. -okay. Stick close by to rocks, it'll probably interfere with their pathing. Where am I going now? Okay, now I'm going in the right direction, yes. So Ellie and Felix have just sort of been, um, they've just sort of been left. Uh, back there. But that's fine, we've established creatures have very limited roam ranges. We're very lucky. Yes! They have now resurrected and probably teleported to me. There we go. See, guys, I did not leave you to die. I just... Oh, bloody hell. There's, there's more yet then. Gotcha. Guys, we need to get past this town and then probably several more towns too. Okay, guys, we've got we've got more trouble. Oh, that's just a man pillar. That's not so bad. You guys are under control, right? Oh, that's a queen. Start shooting it, please. Okay, it is now stunned and has been hit by Felix, who's now dead, but that's all absolutely a okay. One more big hit. Oh, she's got the stupid things. Right, you're dead, right? And you are going to be dead too? Okay, my friendly speed bumps here, who I name Ellie and Felix, are doing the job. And in all fairness, I'm just swimming in flipping meds. So this is not a... Ooh. Terror 1 Publications. I think I found a newspaper. Right, we'll nip in there in a second. First, just... Yeah, scan this area. There's something bad here. Oh, it's just a Raptodon spitter. That's not a problem at all. Right, yeah, that's just a baby one. That's just a little baby right there. Oh, there's, there's actually several of them. Okay, go and shoot in face with shock damage. Are you dead, by the way? I think you're dead, by the way. Right, guys, you first, if you'd be so kind. You first. You know how this goes. Uh, so you guys just get over there and start laying down some fire. And drop kick the other one. There we go. He should be nice and vulnerable for the time being. And now... Get it off! Get it off! Ellie's just randomly screaming, get it off. I think she's just referring to the acid rather than the creatures. They're definitely dead at this point. Okay. MSI soldiers... Alright. Somebody, at some point, was trying to either hold or retake this place. Help myself to a giant pile of ammo. Maybe go over to the shotgun, if we can. Because, uh, yeah, shotgun, uh, that's nice and easy to keep stocked up. And, uh, eh, not a terrible helmet, but I swear I've already got one of those. Uh, yeah, I need to top up my ammo supplies. I've been burning through it very fast. No major plot around this area as far as I can tell. So, okay, let's nip inside this office or whatever it is. See what we got because we are halfway to Monarch already. Together with, yeah, actually, Fallbrook, Amber Heights and Stella Bay are all this direction. So, uh, we're going the right way. Though if they're on in that direction, that does raise the question, what's all this stuff? Oh, and one amazingly good bit of news, uh, Terra 1 Publications is a fast travel spot. So now I can get back here if I come back later. Alright, I see trouble in here. But, because this is a small office, there's only going to be so big uh, the trouble can be. If we're lucky, it's just going to be, uh, yeah, the little lads and some sprats and whatnot. So, uh, alright, start hacking. I've got the good hack in here. Just grab myself some... Ooh, that's a little bit on the tougher side. But I'll gladly help myself to a little bit of money. Rebuilt mining gear. That is completely flipping garbage. So, a couple of notes here. Miss Bolshov. Security masks are meant for in crowd dispersal scenarios. They are not appropriate for a workplace environment. Your purchase request has been denied. Okay. Interesting. Talking to the guards, he isn't having trouble breathing at all. In fact, none of our guards have had asthma attacks from the air in here. 
okay, so something was wrong inside this office that meant the workers were getting sick, the guards weren't because they were wearing masks. Of course, the sulphur pits we saw a second ago, something to deal with the stink of sulphur. It was upsetting, but it was also potentially making people sick. And the reason the place shut down was because the sulphur in the air was causing the equipment to fail, but it wasn't supposed to be failing because it wasn't tested for an environment with the sulphur. Gotcha. All right, team, in we flipping go. So boom, 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 and now prepare to start shooting the maulers. And one more big shot right there. Screw you. Uh-oh. Okay, uh, fall back. Baby, fall back. Oh, there's... Oh, there was a big one. 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 I was like, let me pass, you stupid bastard. Okay, there's... There's a bigger one here than I was expecting. Actually, oh, cock me. Um, we need to knock it down. Actually, no, that's not so bad. It's... It wasn't as bad as I was expecting. It's, it's a colossus. Oh, that sounds pretty bad, but actually it's not so difficult. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fall back into this room over here. Close the doors. Uh, do a bit of healing. They can't use doors, right? Logically, they can't use doors. Uh, then, how about the rest of them? Guys, come back. I'm ready for more now. Guys, boom. Okay. And get ready to fall back a bit more. And, boom, 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 boom. And, level 14. Everybody else dead or under control. All right, everybody else dead or under control. And apparently a Colossus is nowhere near as bad as a Mega. So keep that in mind. Also, bear in mind that, yeah, meat is really, really bloody heavy. It's what's weighing me down right now. So we're going to just dump some of that. Yeah, weighs one each. That is not nothing. So I'll tell you what. We'll just stick it in the inhaler and start just snorting it. And we do have a Chrono Field Aggregator here. I have no idea what that is, but it sounds good. Armor Mod restores some of your tactical time dilation meter when you deal a critical hit. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Yes, that's very interesting indeed. Right, some more people, hopefully dropping some more good stuff. More ammo, never flipping hurts. Now, more importantly, we can now start leveling things up a bit and... Uh, I wouldn't mind long guns up to 60, because then headshot and weak spot damage plus 20%. That's tempting. It's very tempting indeed, because then my shotguns and my rifles would be more effective. Because I can't just be using the big smashy plasma thing forever. I simply won't be able to afford it. So I'm boosting that up to 60 right now. So more crit chance, less gun sway, and headshots are now better. And I'll very gladly take Harvester, 15% health on every kill. Yeah, that's good stuff. All right, handful more Raptids, but nothing too dramatic here. So just grab literally everything going. I think I just saw a second to go around the corner here. Inferno Scythe? Okay, 139. Who wants one of them? Okay, Felix has got a really good stun bat on, but it's not actually that good at taking out, you know, uh, creatures. Let's give him the Inferno Scythe. That sounds better. But in which case, yeah, Officer's Spine's kind of terrible, so move her over to this, because it's just a lot more powerful. All right, have we got any more in here, or are we done looping around? This is, aha, little back area over here. That just goes back outside to the wilderness, and uh, hello. You're new? Right. We might have ourselves some faction trouble in this part of the world because uh, you, for some reason, are trying to take over this area. But we do rather nicely have a, a workbench here. Now, 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 now. That hunting rifle ultra level 17. Now that's interesting to me because that's just so much better than what I've got right now. So yeah, we're going over to that, basically. We're going over to that right now. Step one, tinkering is now extremely bloody cheap to do. And I think I can do it twice right now. Yeah, so cheap. So flipping cheap, up to 228 damage right there. Plasma launcher is arguably still affordable. So we will do a bit of that. Yeah, that's now at its max level. That is just brilliant right there. But, 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 but. The big thing is going to be what we're going to do with modification. 
So three mods we can put on this thing. So fun time barrel for bonus critical damage. So yeah, things like headshots and sneak attacks and whatnot, I believe. Or firing noise massively down. No, I think I'm actually good with bonus critical damage. Let's just make this thing as powerful as possible. Next up, the actual magazine. So yes, plasma. That's been working really, really well for me. Alternatively, N-Ray. Okay, so that's radiation damage, but it will be weaker in every way, like massively. Damage minus 15%. I'm guessing there's a sort of enemy where, yeah, N-rays are really good, but I don't know what it is. So we'll stick with Plasma, because Plasma works well against creatures. So, yes, we'll be going for that. And this thing apparently came with a free Extendo sight. So, okay, comes with a 2x zoom that also extends maximum range. So I could put that massive new scope on, but actually, yeah, effective and max range would start going down. So actually, I don't really want that. I'll keep it as it is. So actually, yeah, that works pretty well. So here's the new girl. And now, yeah, we got ourselves. Ooh, that's nice. I like that scope. That's a good scope. And I think we've actually got ourselves uh, just a handful of enemies to test that out on. There's still something around here. Hello over there. Right, one wraps Don Mauler. Let's just actually... Uh, Blind that and oh my goodness You know what? I think this thing is pretty darn sexy Yes Right one terminal upstairs, but nothing we didn't already know at some point Yeah, an evacuation order was given because they were supposed to be moving over to uh, Interestingly Terra 2 but Terra 2 we already know is, yeah, not going great. Roseway's been abandoned, Edgewater isn't profitable. Though maybe, yeah, there's a bunch of much better settlements we just haven't seen yet. Okay, let's move on here. We are only about 300 meters from the person I'm supposed to be meeting up with. Now that's gotta be good news. That's good news. Right there. We just need to make our way to, apparently, over there somewhere. Yeah, there she is. There's our guide. Now... If we're lucky, we're past the worst of it already. So just keep an eye out here. Yeah, there's a handful of stalkers and whatnot, but really, for the most part, actually, we're doing pretty well here. This new rifle is doing the flipping job. Get out of the way of that. There's... Okay, problem is I can't actually see. So, no, no, no. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Anyone else still around? There's still one over there. Dead now? All right, now we're cutting through them pretty fast. I think we are past the worst of it. This seems to be pretty minor stuff we're facing at this point. And is this a real town or is this more abandoned? This looks... Yeah, that looks pretty abandoned to me, actually. Right, one more mauler. But honestly... Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got this now. Straight in the head. And that's 800. Oh, yeah. This is lovely. This is absolutely lovely. We got this now. Excuse me. No, you don't. By the way, headshot damage for me is now significantly boosted. So they are just being... Oh, they're being shredded. Oh, this new rifle. I love you. Oh, a Colossus is charging me. I don't think so. I don't think so at all, actually. I think I've flipping got all your numbers at this point. All right, another abandoned town here. A couple of buildings we can loot, but nothing too uh, dramatic, really, best as I can tell. Just, yeah, generic loot ammo. But then again, uh, heavy ammo and energy ammo in particular, I do need, so I will not say no. Oh, hello, sexy. We've got ourselves a new shotgun. A sawn-off shotgun, and that is a very high DPS with knockback built in. Right, we might want to go make some changes uh, to oh. my... Oh? Hello? Hello? I hear boots out there. Wait, can that's for boots? Okay, I've stumbled across a human, and I can lie by snarling like a raptor. on. No, 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 no. Hello, who are you? Oh, thank the Eternal. I'm Huxley. Ah, uh, Hux if you're lazy. My friends and I were scavenging here, and a Mad Queen showed up. Then wrapped it on. It was a void blasted mess. I ran in here, and um, now the door's locked. Little help? 
Okay, I am super good with unlocking doors. Just give me a sack. My buddy had a key, but I ain't heard him in a while. He locked me in here and took off. Probably got munched. So look for a dead guy, I guess. Or a rat. Maybe it's in a rat belly. Gross. Okay, there is a key, but I might just be able to force it open with my hacking abilities. I'm an Iconoclast runner. The Iconoclast runner. Fast as we've got. Ain't a raptodon on this void-forsaken hellhole that can catch me. I'm... Uh, I'm... <sighs> Sorry. Put me in a tiny room like this and I'm liable to flip. Not keen on tight spaces, you know? Okay, so we've got ourselves a living member of that new faction. Tell me more. Oh, that'd be my people. Graham and Zora and Milton and... I really miss them. You gonna let me out of here? I want to get back to Amber Heights. Alright, we've got ourselves someone we might want to actually chat to. Let's see how we get you out. Ooh, okay, 85. That's not joking about. That's not joking about at all. So, uh, we will actually be needing a key for that. So, look for a corpse or in a rapstone belly. Okay, I see a rapstone right over there. By the way, you're just going to uh, be shot now because, oh, blimey, this is a good rifle. Uh, guys, just stay up top for the time being. We can pick up a few of them before they even know where we are. Okay, I've been looking around like crazy and I cannot find a body or, yeah, a wrapped doll that's got a thing on it. But what I did find over here is, uh, one, there's a bit of a bridge here that leads over to the other side. So, hang on. That's a human. Hello over there. Okay, so I literally just found it. Great. Alright, so you are going to be telling me more about your faction. <sighs> Phew, thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. All right, bit of free reputation, absolutely flippin' lovely. But, uh, yeah, are you sure you're okay, Hux? Oh, sure, I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy, and hey, who's your identical, slightly blurry friend? Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'm not going to try and extort her because we've barely met these guys. So, uh, good luck. Have fun. Hopefully we'll run into your faction later. And on top of that, she's left a little bit of stuff behind. Very, very nice indeed. Basic flamethrower, basic tactical shotgun. Yeah, I can do without any of that. Wait, what was that? Aha, it was a cartridge. So I'm guessing we plug that in back in the ship and maybe get ourselves information about a science weapon. And there is one other very good thing about the fact I cleared out this whole town of Rapstons, which is uh, sort of accidentally, I think I've actually made my way to, uh, to Stella Bay, which is absolutely flippin' magnificent. Question is, uh, can I just, you know, walk in the front door at this point? Or are they going to kick up a bit of a fuss because I don't have the rights to, like, land here or whatever? Guns away, guys. Uh, guns away. Okay. No guards, and the station seems to be slightly falling apart too. Uh, can I just step inside? And apparently, flipping yes, meaning 40,000 XP and... Uh, I don't actually bloody need to give Gladys 10,000 caps anymore. I get to use those caps for whatever it is I feel like. Because, yeah, presumably once you're here, you've just got the right to, like, land here. Because I can go over to, like, the landing platform and, like, insert a pip boy and get the information or diddly diddly d. Anyway, I'm here now. That's nice. And yes, indeed, my first step is actually Nyoka, because this isn't where I need to be. This is just a place I'm passing through to get over to whatever his name was. And apparently he's far enough away. We need a guide for it. Help! Someone's been killed! Oh, I've only just arrived in town and all of a sudden people are yelling about murders that need to be solved. Bloody hell. Right, who got murdered and how do I solve it? I clean the apartments while everyone's at work. I've seen all sorts of messes, but this... If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. All right, we've got ourselves a murder that needs to be solved. What did he say? Bottom on the right. A murder? Hey, is this the part where we go hunting for clues? Not much I can do for this guy. All right, Felix, me and you, I think we're of the same mind here. Lovely. Here we go. One bag on the back here. Several ragged outfits, all the same cut and colour, 
was stuffed into a suitcase. Alright. A mysterious set of clothing. Why would he put clothing into a bag? Maybe he was going somewhere. Okay, I truly am a master detective. Okay, I'm not getting drawn into this right now. I will come back and examine that corpse later. For the time being, we just need to go and make sure I can actually, you know, leave this planet and come back. Hold on sign you oh, hang on, need to do some bureaucracy. Hi there, Grim. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? Assuming I'm legally allowed to be, yes. You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-world traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing, so here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest Sal Tuna and Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Alright, so yeah, I am officially Alex Hawthorne. Nice to meet ya. Swell. There's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. Okay, so we got ourselves a town here where the guy in charge isn't so much about rules, and his town's already been cut off, so maybe I could do business with this guy better than I could do with Reed Thompson. Mr. Sanjar will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? Oh, go on. I got this Rizzo's Rangers Tossball poster coming in on the next sublight shipment, signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Okay, I guess I'll go and check your post for you, whatever. Okay, so, small problem, my ship isn't actually here. Can I, like, recall it here? Yeah, insert my ID cartridge, and... Okay, that was fast. And more importantly, we have now got ourselves, yep, yeah, fast travel locations all across this side of the river. Though, yeah, that was just a quick run up the road. All of the rest of the map down over here, I have not managed to get to yet, so... Uh, this place is flipping huge. There's a lot more wilderness to explore yet. Also, there's this tiny area down here I never went down to. So, okay, things are looking good here. And one last thing I want to look at today. So, my existing shotgun is 41 at times 8, magazine 6, DPS 411 at level 13. And it's getting really expensive to tinker. But, 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 yeah. I think we've got ourselves a new toy. It's time to go over. That's level 18 base. So tinkering with that is going to be so cheap. So, so damn cheap. So uh, you have served me well, old friend. It is time for you to retire. And yeah, Irian's flintlock is honestly not great because the recoil means the second shot often misses. DPS isn't spectacular. Let's go over to the Revolver Mark II because yeah, with a higher base level... That's going to be superior pretty darn soon. But you know what? That weapon kind of, you know, it matters to me. So uh, what we're going to do is we are actually going to store some of these weapons that have served me well. Yep, tinker with the revolver. So, so cheap to tinker with right now. Absolutely beautiful. So that's 129 DPS, 323. That thing is as good as it can be. Yeah, every single one of my weapons is now five levels above me. They are all maxed out at level 19. That's a good place to be. Now, once again, get the actual critical damage up for the shotgun. Absolutely beautiful. I would like to be able to make it a shock shotgun again, but sadly, I do not have access to that for the minute. I don't have another one of those. So, uh, next time I see one in a shop, make sure we pick that up. Because, yeah, having a shotgun that's good against robots, not a bad idea. And as I have literally no option, I guess we may as well just put one of my six silencer mods on this thing. Go on, then. And a basic gyro sight just for the sake of, yeah, accuracy, reduced spread. Okay, not spectacular, but it'll do. This thing is going to be, yeah, very effective at long range. Got ourselves a brand new shotgun. Does look a bit scruffy, to be honest. Preferred the look of the old one, but this one will really, really do the damage. And it holds two more shells in a round, so that's good too. New rifle, of course. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, 
this old girl, she was what got me through that area. So, uh, yeah, we're keeping her for the time being. Okay, we've got ourselves a good loadout here, and we've made it to Monarch. But... I did say at the beginning of this episode, uh, we were going to go to Roseway. So next time, we're going to flipping Roseway. Because there's only so much longer I can live this life without converting a cleaning robot into an acid spraying kill machine. So we'll definitely be having that very, very soon indeed. Hopefully, you join me for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been The Outer Worlds. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.